Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. State your name. Betty Rubble. Further non-compliance will result in punishment. Buy me a drink first. Shit. Fine. I'm Athena O'Brien. Further non-compliance hey, will... Hey, even your lie detector says I'm Athena. Maybe you need a diagnostic robo-flop. Subject remains hostile. You want hostile? You overrode a lot Supervillains get so testy. Oh, Section Chief Prescott, well, I didn't expect you back. Good so afternoon, Agent Fitzpivot's Little Will and Montague Gwynn. I'd like a full debrief. Now, sir, don't you have all these files? Verbal reports are standard protocol, Agent. Are you countermanding my request? Oh no, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, Lucky Les Mocker still believes she's Athena O'Brien. Uh, the profile suggests Athena uh, really hates government agencies and wants us all dead. <laughs> Imagine why. So, uh, I'm trying Dr. Studebaker's techniques to revive Lucky's suppressed personality. How? Uh, massive psychological shocks, subliminal video, and audio stimuli, the usual. But the Deceptionum's mental reprogramming is so severe... And what is the status of the Deceptionum? Uh, as you ordered, sir. Uh, stored in location X, along with the rest of the tech we found on Lesmarker, except her voice synthesizer. We still haven't found that. And the security codes for location X are... They're the same codes I gave you when you asked this morning. Excellent job, Agent. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh what was that? One of my famous pop quizzes, and you passed with flying colors. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> God, we don't want to get me. disavowed, do we? <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to end up mind-wiped in Bend, Oregon with Agent Granger and the rest of his team. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, we're, we're not supposed to talk about disavowed agents either, are we? We can't pass all the tests, I suppose. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't mind-wipe me, sir. I'll do better. Let's just forget I was ever here. Sorry, sir. Uh, one second. Agent Fitzpivot's Llewellyn Montague Gwynn speaking. Hello, Agent. Sorry, I was caught in traffic on K Street. Chief Prescott? I didn't take L Street. L's a better letter than K anyway, at least in the hierarchy of alphabetical needs. But who was... Just had to pick Ready? up my tux for the gala. Oh, no. Agent? Nothing's wrong. Excuse me, sir. Red alert! Red alert! We have an intruder! Well, Chief Prescott... Sounds like you've been keeping secrets after all. Mission Rejected, the story of the world's most secret agents, the backups. Tonight's episode, The Spy Who Forgot Me. Session team, I don't know what I want. A lot of work at the office oh, that I don't if get... I my... was somebody totally different. Tango and Cash, copy two, rewound. Tango and Cash, copy three, rewound. Good morning, Ken. Nice to see you. Ugh, it's way too early for all your chipperness, Clarice. Early bird gets the worm. And the late worm doesn't get eaten. Ken, have some pride. We work at the number one blockbuster video on Earth. It's the last blockbuster video, Clarice. Seriously, did you sleep here last night? Who can sleep on Rewind Check Day? Come help! Taxi driver! Rewound! Kill me if I ever care this much about organizing shelves. Remember, Ken? A, B, C. Always be categorizing. Wait. The Abyss? What's this doing under T? Who stocked this shelf? Let's get this party started! Derek! I trusted you to sort these titles alphabetically. I told you, never trust anybody over the age of five. The Abyss belongs under A. Uh, how do you spell the? Ooh, yes, I love a good alphabet debate. Look, why is this here? Theater of blood? T-H-E, pfft, it, losers. All right, all right. I'll take care of the shelves. You two start sharpieing over the expiration dates on the popcorn. No can do, Clarice. I am checking out early. Like, no. Let me guess, you booked a date on your shift. Nope, I booked two dates during my shift. We're going to the movies. 
Raquel will be in Theater 1 watching the J-Lo rom-com, while Paula will be in 3 taking in the zombie flick. If I time my bathroom breaks and popcorn refills perfectly, they'll never know about each other. Classic Derek. How does he do it? He doesn't. I think he steals plots of old sitcoms to make his life sound better. No. I told you, Claire. Trust no one, and nobody will ever disappoint you. And speaking of disappointment, here comes the boss. Ah, good morning, loyal employees. Good morning, Riley. Morning! That's why everything was different at McDonald's. I woke today in my fully stocked bunker outside of town to discover that God had staved off the collapse of society for one more beautiful morning. Jesus Christ. Troops, we have an opportunity. Nay, a mission. This doesn't sound good. As you all know, my fellow apocalypse prepper and sworn enemy, Jasper Pinfiddle, has recently come into a collection of unique films only ever released on Betamax. I've compiled a list. Steven Seagal is a vegan hitman out for vengeance in Hard to Swallow? This is why I hate the movies. Jasper plans to erase the cinematic treasure trove for reuse as security tapes. No. Those films are important cultural artifacts. They belong in a video store. Jasper's keeping the tapes in his secret bunker. If only he had kept them in his summer bunker, we'd be in luck, but no dice. Well, I got two dates. Let me know how this all turns out. Derek, you're a key part of this plan. You know how people always tell you that you look just like that actor on that one show? The boyfriend on Acquaintances. Yeah, I know. I got some stupid actor doppelganger. It just so happens that Jasper loves that show. So, here's the plan. Tonight, I'll get Derek into the exclusive local prepper group meeting, where he'll pose as an actor from Acquaintances. He'll charm the pants off Jasper, Obvious. and let him know he's heard of Jasper's clandestine collection. Derek will convince him to show it off. Ooh, we can give Derek one of the store radios and listen in. Exactly, Clarice. We'll tail Jasper to the bunker, analyze the tones as he punches in his access codes, and we'll have him. Oh, then I'll take him out to a bar. I'll break in and swipe the tapes. And we'll smuggle them back to the store where Ken and I will reformat everything onto VHS before returning them. A perfect crime. I mean... Not a crime. I never commit crimes. Everyone got it? Uh, yes, Riley, there's one slight hiccup in your plan. Oh, <gasps> yes, Ken. I'm not doing any of that. Ken, come on. It's for the good of film lovers everywhere. This is all going to fail horribly, and Derek is going to end up locked in that bunker while this guy gets his chainsaw. Those of us who survive will go to jail for 300 years apiece. Will you be serious for once? I'll tell you what, Claire. When something actually important happens to us... I'll get serious. Uh, Riley? There's some strangers in suits at the door? Oh my god, I forgot! Corporate is coming! We're the last blockbuster on Earth. Aren't you corporate? The trademarks and intellectual property rights of Blockbuster Video were sold last night to something called Old Timey Tapey Distribution. I got a call this morning. They're doing an inspection. Glad you took the time to lay out your heist first. Places? On it, boss. Welcome to Blockbuster. Bring the good times home. How may I help you today? Good morning, Mr. Anderson. Um, okay. You corporate jerks read our files, I see. Why is his voice so familiar? Yeah. I get that a lot. We have a new display tape for you. Chop, chop, assistant. Sure thing, boss. Uh, okay. This is weird. Why are you pulling the shades? It helps to get the full effect. Please stare directly into the center of the screen. Um, okay. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. What's happening? Pay particular attention to our three-dimensional strobe effect. You were working on some love interest on my favorite show. No, my work. You picked me up. I was Chloe Kardashian. My favorite is Midnight Tone. Wait, that's us. What if... Whoa. What Derek. Scream right in my ear. What's wrong with them? It's working. If they swallow their tongues, I'm not cleaning it up. Jesus Christ, what's happening, Clarice? It's like David Lynch doing a clockwork orange. Get in the back room, now! McGrath, I'm out of here. Granger. Wait! Zelda, I remember. Bowden? I'm Bowden Moncrief, and oh my god, my career is non-existent, and I'm working in a failed film distribution shop surrounded by pictures of young Mark Wahlberg! Oh, but look at me! I own all of Blockbuster Video! I'm like H. Wayne Kuzienka! Stop looking at me, Mark! Oh, I've got you, Bo! <gasps> Section Chief Anders, and... Oh my god, it's you! Don't get all breathless on me. What's he doing here? All agents and contractors are subliminally trained to respond pliantly to his voice. Watch. 
Can I have 50 bucks? <laughs> sure, let me just get- Hey, wait a minute! It seems to have brought you two back, but we've got work to do Don't on- Don't move, please! Oh, shoot! Clear the target! <laughs> Section Chief! <laughs> Holy Scott, you tased her! It's just a prop from our Ballistic X vs. Sever giveaway! Catch me if you can, fascist! Yeah! Yep! <laughs> Two for two. We'll have to bring McGrath and Granger back to Studebaker. Help me get these two on their feet. Not my department. I am sure with time we That's can- That's the problem, Gloria. There is no time. Studebaker. Your half-assed tape only half worked. Hmm, that math sounds right to me. Oh god, Ken, it's some kind of torture chamber! They're playing weird dissonant noises to break our minds. Relax, you two. This is just Dr. Studebaker's lab. And that's just a fish album I can't figure out how to turn off. Studebaker, your tape only worked on two of my agents, and they've been hazy since we left Oregon. Uh, No, no, I I think I'm okay now. Time went a little Slaughterhouse Five for a bit there. Look, Gilgamesh, I had very little time to produce that tape. I'm a busy man. Busy? With what? I have to figure out how to turn off this fish album for one thing. Oh, that looks like a Wilson R80, like we have at the store. May I? Knock yourself out. Clarice, they're deep state operatives. Don't help them. Skip, please snap out of it. I'm not joining your crazy bunker cult, Riley. So tell your buddy, the section chief, to screw off. Damn it! (sighs) <sighs> okay, are we safe here? Where's Prescott? I'll explain everything. I've prepared a presentation. The slide projector, Gloria. Oh, yes, ma'am. I mean, no! Get this thing out of here! <laughs> hey, you killed my slide projector. Zelda, how could you leave us stocking shelves in Oregon? I didn't know where you were until yesterday. As far as I knew, Athena O'Brien had captured and killed all of you. And I didn't know Prescott had the deception in. What tipped you off? Last week, the Secretary of Defense ordered the EMF to move Lucky Lesmacher to Supermax. Those are not real words. But Prescott, uncharacteristically, dragged his feet. I did some unofficial recon and found Prescott's agents trying to revive Lucky's suppressed memories. He's hiding her at EMF HQ? No, she was on a view screen. I don't know where Prescott's holding her but I'll bet it's the same place he's got the deception of. We need a plan. We? Not we, Miss Kovac. I just jeopardized my career to save your asses. You're going to stay hidden. No, we won't! If it weren't for us, Prescott would have the deception and you would be none the wiser. We're the only reason there's any chance of stopping him and destroying that mind bomb for good. So if you think you're going to leave us in Dr. Studebaker's college dorm-themed excuse for a lab while you take on Prescott, you're... You're incorrect! The only way you can help is if you have a ready-made plan to trick someone into leading us to their secret warehouse. Actually, I do. All right, Agent Kovac. It's agent in training. We'll see. (gasps) Where's Prescott now? Tonight he'll be in Washington, D.C. for the annual Global Intelligence Gala at the Ambassador Hotel. It's a clandestine affair. They host it as the annual classic video game convention. The Ambassador Hotel. Is that the joint where Lee Majors threw that foam party in 79? I'm more than certain I don't know. Will the Secretary of Defense be there? The one who ordered Lucky transferred? He will. Gloria, do you really think Riley's bunker heist is going to port directly over to Conning Prescott? Why not? We just need to get the electronic credentials to get into the gala. And to fake those, we'll need a tech wizard. (laughs) Ah, there you go. You just had to... Uh, why are you all looking at me? Oh, no reason. Boo! Ah! Quit it, Riley! You're gonna need more of a traumatic scare than that, Sheila. How much more of a... Ah! Doctor! I was just... Ah! You weirdos, knock it off! Fine! New plan. Hey, Riley! Ow! Hey, what are you freaks doing with her? Sorry, Ms. McGrath. We need you. And that means delivering a massive psychological shock. And desperate times? Call for desperate measures. I'll be good, I swear! You can come out anytime, Ms. McGrath. Just punch in your access code. Or build an electronic skeleton key from your bed frame and a transistor radio. I don't know how to do that! Oh, you do. 
And someone in there with you knows you do. Oh no. Okay, keep it together. Someone down here knows me? Did they kidnap my friends and family? Well, I don't have any friends or family, so... Is that weird? Shouldn't I... No! They're trying to confuse you. You're Clarice. You're Clarice. You're... Hello, ah! Clarice. Who are you? My name is Christatos O'Brien, and your name is Mackenzie No! McGrath. Stop saying that! We are old prison mates. I know things about you that even the EMF does not. You don't eat people, do you? I'm very gamey. In my youth, I enjoyed a torrid affair with a stoic young Turkish woman. Okay, wait. Maybe a quick death would be better than this story. Years later, I learned that local government forces had murdered her. Oh, that's too bad. But not before she bore a child. Wait. Is this that Athena person they were talking about? Oh no, Athena's mother was murdered by American agents. You attract a lot of darkness. So, who was this other kid of yours then? That child was smuggled to the West, where she was raised in various foster homes. Wait. She became a devious computer hacker. No, 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 no. That's... With a Robin Hood obsession. Possible, I wasn't... Attacking <laughs> only the powerful. What's happening to me? You are Mackenzie McGrath, my long-lost daughter, Athena O'Brien's half-sister, and heir to my criminal empire. What? Oh my god, I remember! <sighs> Welcome back to the EMF, Mackenzie. Holy shit, Christados, are you... my real dad? What? <laughs> no, you stupid child! They said if I shocked you out of your amnesia, they would give me back my swash court privileges. Oh. <laughs> That was true. Okay. Ah, uh, so, are you how and the could I back to get possibly me? be your father when your true father is that serpent, H. R. R. Fletcher, the Admiral? What? The Admiral is my. Oh my God! I got you again. <laughs> how could you fall for it twice? Oh God. You know what? <laughs> I remember my code now, so I'm just gonna go. Okay. Good luck. Moron! <laughs> Next time we rent a bigger car. I'm Damn sorry, it. the biggest size they had available was precious. You can just That's drop me off at the White House. I promise I'll only throw a few eggs. Dude, Baker, stop rolling down the window. Someone's gonna fall out. Quiet, everyone! Oh, Zelda, park there! Bowden, get off the gear shift! Just, oh, okay, nobody on, move! Kenzie. Nobody move! Great. Welcome to DC, everyone. Uh, Bo and I will get in position. Here are your IDs, fresh off the 3D printer. Keep on comms. Good luck, team. <sighs> Do you really expect me to believe you idiots are spies? You used to be the head idiot, Ken. And what was your job, Clarice? Fun assassin? Hey, hey, what are you writing, you non-name-remembering whack job? Taking notes. Trying to figure out who in your past life you took your authority-defying persona from. I wonder. Hey, I was funnier than him. What was your codename, Clarice? The Alphabetizer? Oh, you know, I really miss Skip Granger right now. Welcome to the 25th Annual Classic Video Game Convention. Are you pre-registered? Yes, the last name is Man, first name, Pack. Uh, very good. And your electronic credentials, please. Right here. Very good, Mr. Man. Badge, lanyard, and... Oh, don't forget your swag bag. Great, thank you. Also, your princess is in another castle. What did you say? Your princess is in another castle. But the warp zone won't take you there. I see. Thank you. <coughs> Come in, Mama Bear. This is Baby Bear. I'm in position, and I've planted the porridge on Goldilocks. And did Boo Boo eat his honey wunny? Ken, I swear to God! Are you people spies or Bob the Builder characters? <laughs> Good one, Sonny Bono. Mm. 
What's happening? Nothing. Clarice just threw that idiot psychiatrist out of the car. It's not like we were moving. Guys, shush! We can't have two wisecracking agents on one mission! He started, he started it. it. Activate the bug and tracker. Bug and tracker activated. Son of a gun. Right at the bottom of the swag bag, what could Good it... evening, Section Chief Prescott. This had better be good. We have verified reports that Athena O'Brien plans to kidnap Secretary of Defense Whitmire at this evening's Global Intelligence Gala. Okay, I admit Your it. Mission, should That's you good. To accept it. He took the bait. Hook, line, and sinker. Bowden's up. She says they're, uh, shooter. I, uh, <laughs> Adley. Excuse me, Link? Oh, uh, hello there, uh, Peck. How is the, uh, Miz? May we have a word in private? Uh, certainly. Excuse me, uh, ladies. Come right over here, sir. I think you'll love what they've done with this coat closet. Well, thanks for getting me out of there, Prescott. We need to do a better cover for next year's gala. I hate this costume. How are you supposed to, uh, get your bangs to stick out like that? Sir, I've just received distressing intel that Athena O'Brien might attempt to abduct you during this evening's gala. Really? I wouldn't have thought she'd have it in her after the, uh, skokie tobacco. I think you know wherever I speak. I need to get you to a secure location. Why don't we, uh, hold up wherever it is you've stashed the deception Where I've... Stashed what? Sir? Uh, We've got eyes everywhere, J.J. Let me guess. You were hoping you'd do me a good turn and I'd forget about Lucky Lessmarker. Uh, All right, am I in the ballpark? Relax, son. You saw an opportunity and you took it. Consider Lessmarker's transfer order canceled. Is the deception um 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 nearby? Um um um. Near enough. Then uh, why don't we kill two birds with one stone and we'll hide in your secret warehouse where we can discuss uh, career opportunities. Bo is killed! It. He just left with Prescott. We'll have the deception and, uh, in... Good evening, ma'am. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Um, checking out? Uh, of course not. Checking in. Uh, oh, uh, didn't I see you with, um, Mr. Mayor? <coughs> Gloria, it's me. Bo? What? Wait, weren't you just with Prescott? I've been waiting in the check-in line. I don't see Whitmire anywhere. I have been accosted by Samus, Pitfall Harry, and a very creative couple dressed as Pong. But... Was that the real Whitmire talking to Prescott? Negative. Secretary Whitmire never left home. There are only three babysitters in the Washington, D.C. area with the requisite security clearance to enter Whitmire's home. And they all have their price. Then there was another fake Secretary of Defense at the gala, and he just left with Prescott. Wait, Gloria, you saw them go? The tracker says they haven't left the building. Prescott must have ditched it. No, it's still moving. Hang on, the bug might still give us audio if I boost the signal. Wait, what are they saying? I can't make out- The acoustics are terrible. It's like they're in- (gasps) A bunker! What? It sounds just like the bunker I owned when I was Riley! Bunker, that's it! The secret subterranean bunkers under the Ambassador Hotel were where we first built the Deceptionum. The what? what? Under Under where is where where what? what? Who hired this guy? That's why I know that hotel. I worked under it for 25 years. Huh, that's funny. My memory is usually pretty good. So, wait. Prescott, Lesmacher, and the Deceptionum are underneath the Ambassador Hotel? Near every top intelligence operative in the world. And the entire U.S. Along with some unknown wild card fake Secretary of Defense. Wow. It's like watching five drunken Sherlock Holmeses. Nice work, deep staters. Okay, Zelda, get on the horn and warn the Pentagon. Everyone else, to the underground bunker! You can see we keep the device behind ionized glass, and of course the warehouse EM shielding is a double security measure. And look what we have here. Lucky Les Maca. I'm Athena O'Brien. Yes, yes. Prescott, this is uh, quite a toy you've got here. What games do you expect to play with it? Well, sir, now that we've harnessed its power as a lie detector as well as a memory eraser, we can use it for interrogations, deep cover operations, disavowals across the spectrum. The sky is the limit. Limit, Prescott. Yes, a man has got to know his. Well, didn't see that coming. Oh, when he wakes up, he's going to realize what a terrible day he is. Uh, Whoa! Unlike me! Whoa! You're that awful Lord Nero actor. Bah! Was I awful when I acted my way into this secure compound as the Secretary of Defense? Yeah, your brother could have done it without the voicing. Don't speak of my brother. 
I've proven myself a better actor and operative than that don't. Behold my espionage prowess as I deliver this immersive audio message. Lucky, you did great. You let press that park of deception right in downtown Washington, just like I predicted. And now that it's right where I want it, it's time to wake up! Ah! Oh, oh, my head! My ears! My third grade teacher! I remember her! Wait! I'm Lucky Lesmacher! I'm really hungry! Now that you remember everything, initiate the final phase of Plan B. Sure thing, Lewis! My first successful counter-up! I'm a natural! What are you doing? Starting up the deception in, just like the boss wanted. Modulating the something something. There. Five minutes till it goes off. Wiping clean the minds of everyone in this tacky city. Is Washington, D.C. tacky? You should see the Smithsonian. Freeze, Balthazar! Holy crap, it's that guy from that terrible Lord Nero movie. Just call him... That son of a bitch. And you people say I can't keep names straight. Oh, look! The peon squad has arrived. And you've brought the real Mr. Whitmire, I see. No, brother. It's your worst nightmare. Bowden! I have been waiting for this epic showdown for my entire life, Balthazar. Very well, baby brother. Allow me to demonstrate some of my years of stage combat training. Here you go. What? Hey, little Lulu's escaping. Get off of me! The Oscar committee will hear of this. Ooh. Whoa, Derek! You knocked him unconscious with an Academy Award. Serves him right for carrying it around. You're totally keeping that, aren't you? I sure am. Uh, Princess Buttercup. Call me that again, and I'll snap your fingers off, man. The deception appears to be having a midlife crisis. She unlocked some code deep in the system. It's gonna go off, and I can't stop it. But that's okay, isn't it? This is a Class X science bunker. It has electromagnetic shielding. Unfortunately, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, this readout says the Deceptionum's harmonics have been shifted. Instead of blocking the signal, the EM shield will amplify This was Athena's plan the whole time. She'll wipe out the minds of the entire American government, plus half of the foreign intelligence community. Uh, Clarice, I thought you were some kind of computer genius. Can't you, you know... Hack it? Short answer, Ken? No. What about Studebaker? This chump? You're lucky if he remembers how to tie his shoes. Hey, the bunny goes through the hole. Okay, we shut down the shield. Then the mind bomb goes off and everyone gets wiped. And if we leave it up? Everybody gets wiped. Oh. Any other ideas? Around the tree. We might be screwed, guys. You could switch formats. What? It's like those Betamax tapes. They don't play in a VHS. If you switch the format of this mind bomb, the force field won't play it. It's not a goddamn Blu-ray, Ken. 90 seconds, McGrath. Look, formats are formats. If the two devices are formatted differently, they can't talk to each other, right? Oh, for God's sakes, it's worth a try. Still got a problem, Chucky. Of course we do. You can only format the deception from its master control panel inside that glass room. Can you do it? Hmm. How did we used to do that? Of course you forgot. Fine, it's just COBOL. I'll take care of it. But whoever volunteers for this gig has a 98% chance of getting mind wiped. Anyway, into the cave, around the tree... Okay, I'll I'll do do it. it. What? Why? How? You give me the code, I'll type it in. Ken, you realize that if you... Yeah, I'm not stupid, Riley. I heard what Dr. Demento said. But then... I told you. I'd be there for you when things got serious. No, you said you'd get serious when things got important. And now you know what's important to me, you idiots. Ken, no matter your name, you're really something, you know that? Okay, I put the code on my phone, just type this into the console. Got it. See you on the other side, Ken. Hey, Dr. What's-His-Name gave me a 2% chance. Would I have done that? Believe it or not, McGrath, yes. And done. Oh wait, now they're tied together. What's he doing? Saving the world. He's gonna get mind wiped. You know what? It'll wipe Ken, and we can get Skip back. Well, that's dumb. Zippy's already been mind wiped once. Wipe him again, his original personality could be erased forever. Well, g- God damn it! Why didn't you tell us that? I was tying my shoes. Skip! Hey, buddy. Ah, my laces! Hey, Skip! 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 Ah, oh, damn it, the door's locked! Okay, here we go. We're gonna turn you into the world's biggest Betamax. Well, it was nice being me. Oh, who am I kidding? It sucked. Oh shit! Ah, I just thought of a great last singer for Clarice. 
Skip! My deception am destroyed, just like my poor slide projector. Skip! Oh, God, oh, God. Skip. Skip! Is he... Skip? Hey, buddy, look at me. You're Skip Granger. You're a stubborn, order-loving, stick-up-the-ass, right-to-the-edge-of-stupid hero, and I'm your best friend, and if you don't wake up and remember who I am, I'm gonna... Congrats? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Welcome back, Agent Granger. <laughs> so, you got your Oscar after all. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Is it terrible that I don't care my own brother is going to Supermax prison? No, he earned that on his own. You know, I, I said some things to you... A week ago, or a year ago? Time's been an interesting philosophical construct lately. But we didn't get a chance to... Talk? About the things I said about you. You didn't say anything. That damn machine did. The things I thought about you. Can I tell you my secret? When they cast me on acquaintances and didn't give my character a name, inside, I still knew his name. <laughs> Good old Derek. My job is to understand people all the way down on the inside. And the secret is, everybody has thoughts they wish they didn't. <laughs> okay. That machine didn't tell me anything about you I didn't already know. You stuck by me, whoever I was. Back in Skokie, I just wanted to tell you. Don't ever wonder if you could be a better version of someone else. Just be a good version of you. I'll remember that. Hmm. Why does this feel... weird? Like starting over somehow. Yeah. Would you like to go on a date with me this weekend, Mr. Moncrief? I'd love to, Miss Kovac. Oh, hi everyone! <gasps> Prescott! I should box your ears, you little... Easy, Bowden. He'd break both your arms with your own big toes, so chill. It's okay, Bowden. Zelda and McGrath have worked things out with the... Former section chief. What? Worked things out with this sneaky, untrustworthy turd burger? Yeah, I said it. You can't make a deal with a used viper salesman. Not with that attitude. Enough. Prescott, you disavowed a team of successful agents in order to gain personal control over an instrument of mass destruction, which almost allowed Athena O'Brien to incapacitate our government and the world's intelligence services. And I've got all the evidence recorded off of your own swag bag, stored in a secret server. Which we could dump onto the secretary's desk at any moment. What do you want? McGrath's record expunged. What? We didn't talk about- Done! <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, oh McKenzie! Congratulations! There's more. I want my agents reinstated. Fine. And I want you out of my department. Go back to the FBI, the DOD, go to KFC for all I care. Now that's ironic. The secretary says I have a knack for playing well with others. He has actually just offered me a lateral move to special interdepartmental liaison. So, instead of being all up in our business, you'll be up in everybody's. I'll miss your way with words, Miss McGrath. And you would have no further authority over my agents. Sounds perfect. Sure does. Well, folks, it's been real. Skip, no hard feelings about the whole mind wiping, right? <laughs> Watch your back, JJ. Ugh, I need a shower. You need to celebrate! Yes, McGrath, you're free! Yeah. Holy crap, am I? It's not a quick process. Levers must be moved. But yes, you're free. Skip, we... You said you were gonna get me out of jail, and it took a super long, weird, and disaster-strewn road, but you got us there. Thank you. McGrath, I am so happy for you. You can go do anything you want. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean... Don't try to get rid of me that quickly. The sky's the limit, McGrath. Let's party, girlfriend. First round's on the agency. You all go. I'll be along shortly. You okay, Skip? It's just... I've been away for a bit, and I think I'd just like to make sure all my folders are in perfect order. Of course you do, Skip. I can't tell you how happy I am that there's only one of me again. There's never been another you, McGrath. Thanks, buddy. We won't start the party without you. Let's do ha! it! Huzzah! Woo! 
This is Special Agent Skip Granger, EMF. I will assume your call is an emergency and will respond promptly and enthusiastically. <laughs> Mission Rejected was created by Pete Barry, J. Michael DeAngelis, and John P. Dowgan. This episode, written by John Dowgan and Pete Barry, and directed by Pete Barry. It starred Chris Klenecki as Skip Granger, Nasa Sarpkai as Mackenzie McGrath, Dave Stanger as Bowden Moncrief, Paige Klenecki as Gloria Kovac, Faith Dowgan as Section Chief Zelda Anders, with Kirk White as Chet Phillips and Kevin McGrath as the Mission Voice. Also starring Ashley Banks as Athena O'Brien, Jill Ivey as Computer Voice and Techie, and Bob Killian as Fitz and the Admiral. Guest starring Rebecca Surface as Lucky, Dave Surface as J.J. Prescott, Pete Barry as Christodos O'Brien, John Dowgan as Dr. Biff Studebaker, Eric Werner as Balthazar Moncrief, and Eric Perry as Widmeyer. Editing by John Dowgan and Pete Barry. As we start the second half of our season, we want to thank all of our Patreon members who make this show possible. Tim Pivots, Ann Coleman, John Pivots, Bill McKay, Marnie Werner, T.H. Wyman, Jennifer Cannon, Eric Werner, Shoshiro Ajo, Carol DeAngelis, Caroline LaRochelle, Tim McMagan, Michael Armis, Christina Brandt, Phantom Flynn, Anthony Sigmund Lowry, Eric Kalkbrenner, Sarah Newell, Allison Bourgeois, Stan Sitzman, and Charles E. Klinecki. You can become a Patreon supporter for as little as $1 per month at www.patreon.com slash missionrejected. This has been a Portrait Production, copyright 2020, Extraordinary Missions Limited. What I don't understand is, how did Athena O'Brien know we were going to replace Whitmire? It was too much of a coincidence. Chief, is your Bluetooth malfunctioning? What? There's a weird spike on the readout. Is it your phone? My phone is sanitized. I know, but what's this little guy? What? Smash the phone! She was listening the whole time. Who? Athena. O- God damn it. Freaking EMF. Freaking Skip Granger. Ugh. Now what? I guess I gotta feed the animals. Or hell, maybe it's time to put them down. Hmm. Hello, boys. Hello, Athena. Hello, Athena. I'm in a really rancid mood right now, fellas, so... While I am super impressed you managed to dangle over that spinning blade trap for, like, a month... It'd be easier if the Admiral would get off my back. Oh, my weak arches! I've tried dropping him, but he's surprisingly squirmy. Oh, come, Mr. Doe. Do you believe the intention of the universe is for me to fall into a pit of blades? To transform from this mortal chrysalis, leaving nothing behind but an iridescent goo and my indestructible platinum hat? I told you, stop calling me Mr. Doe! And give me that hat! Oh, not my indestructible platinum hat! Ah, crap! Ah, the blades! Look out! Keep your head down, idiot. Alert! Intruder! Damn it! Ha! <laughs> You know how long I've been waiting for this moment? Please, don't monologue me to death. Just freaking arrest me already. Arrest you? Oh, I have something special in mind for you, my dear. Oh yeah, Chetty? Oh yeah. One thought has burned in my mind for months, Athena. While I hunted you like the fox you are from one end of the globe to the other. What I was gonna do when I finally caught you. Will you marry me? What? Well, didn't see that coming. The name's Johnny. Johnny. Jonathan. Johnny. I have a demon. <laughs> And his name is hard to pronounce, so I'll just call him Fett. I am not a very smart man. You are so stupid. But I didn't think things would get this bad. A three-alarm fire. Tragedy has struck our community. Blame the line. Man, oh man, was I wrong. Stay tuned for me, my demon, and I.